In 2012, Carly Zakin and Danielle Weisberg founded The Skim from their couch. Now, six years later, the morning newsletter gives over 7 million subscribers the news and information they need to start their day. When they first started the company, they got a lot of advice from other female entrepreneurs. Now, they're sharing these conversations and more on their podcast, you guessed it, Skimmed from the Couch. Every week, you will hear from women like Ariana Huffington, founder of the Huffington Post and Thrive, on why she puts her phone to bed at night, or Melanie Whalen, CEO of SoulCycle, on why she has a millennial mentor, or how actress Taraji P. Henson got over her first rejection and learned how to negotiate for herself. It's a podcast about the real stuff tips and tricks to launch grow or change your career the only rule on the couch no bs check out skim from the couch whenever you listen to podcasts oh gracious lord i come to you so humbly and so uh in thankfulness of praise thank you for all that you've done for me and all that you continue to do for me and the rs3 show lord i thank you for today's broadcast father and as we speak on um you know encouraging ourselves and as we speak on not letting people define who we are not uh, or you know um uh, as we speak on um and as we converse on you know of building ourselves lord i thank you father that as i speak to them i'll pour back into myself as well as i speak to them father that they may hear your words and hear your encouragement father lord i thank you father for each and every one who is behind the scenes that is helping me push this broadcast and help me push this brand father lord i thank you father for each and every one of them father lord i give you all the glory all the honor and all the praises and as i say father i thank you and i believe that you are raising up somebody somewhere to use their power, their ability, and their influence to help the RS3 show brand, Father. Lord, I give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praises, and it shall be yours. And it shall be yours. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Are you listening? Four, three, two, one. Hey, this is Quayla. This is me, Jenny Colors. Gospel Radio out of some Kingston, Jamaica. I'm Nina Taylor from the Gospel News. Well, this is Rock River alongside Red. And you are listening to my boy Red with the RH3 show. And you're listening to the RH3 show. And you're listening to the RH3 show. Boss of Boss. Oh, yes. Keep it locked. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Red, and as you know, <laughs> as you know, I am the host of the RS3 Show. Welcome to today's broadcast. I thank you all. Y'all just don't know how much I love and appreciate each and every one of y'all. Um, y'all, it has been a not really bad Rocky, but it has been a Rocky week from last Tuesday. Well, all the whole week. Not really bad. Like I said, not really bad Rocky, but it's been let's say busy to feel that in. It's been so so busy and things unexpected happen. Schedules had to be moved. Um, you know, it, it, a lot has been going on, and I had to really take care of them, like, like just like that. Whenever it happened, and, and what, whenever it happens, and so that's what happened on last Thursday, y'all. If y'all tuned in to that broadcast, you know that it was Tuesday's repeat. And I don't like to do that when I'm coming back to a brand new show. And last week, we were supposed to be, you know, get rocking it out. And and you know what? Whether it's last week, 
next week, two months from now. When you listen to the RS3 show, you know we're going to rock it out you know we're gonna have things jumping we're gonna get things started we're gonna have conversations going and you know we're just gonna be we're gonna be doing the thing you know and this is a place a meeting a hub a spot for us christian men and women uh, christian young boys and girls that i hope that they you know y'all got listening to can have you know fun and be ourselves but still glorify god and be respectful of each other as we do that and that's what i'm doing and you know that's my that's my whole thing and lord i give a, a look i give this whole brand this whole nine years of the rc show back to you and i thank you father that you are making molding and shaping it up to what you want it to be father to what you want it to be and so hey that's what we're gonna do on today we got a jam-packed week for you y'all we got jam-packed week um i'll finish talking on my um my week whenever um the chit chat brand come on but um yeah today we're going to be talking about you know how we cannot cannot let nobody discredit us and our in our thinking our discredit our actions our motives whatever it is we can't do it and on thursday we're going to encourage black women because a lot of things has been going on and we just we just got to do it fellas we got to do better with uplifting our black women all right and so we're going to we're going to initiate something i'm going to be working and thinking in between but we're going to initiate that on thursday and i'm going to try to get a hashtag going and hopefully we we can get that shared all right all right we got a jam pack we also got uh uh the inside scoop of the red segment of course as you know that's where i give you my honest my unscripted opinion on world and entertainment news i'll come from a christian male perspective gospel news with nina taylor on today we got a couple of ask red letters on today and we also got our real talk red discussion so a jam pack hour be back in a moment And my man Red, stay tuned. More of the RH3 show is coming up next. Does your ministry, business, or organization need a new brand? Or maybe you're looking for a graphic artist to give your letterheads, publications, or your upcoming event flyer a little more pop and eye appeal? Then Integrity Media and Design is your one-stop shop. They offer many services that will suit your needs. Services such as media production and editing, graphic design, business identity, and much more. That's Integrity Media and Design. More information is available at integritymedia.weebly.com or on Facebook, Integrity Media and Design, or you can also find them on Twitter at OfficialIMD7. Integrity Media and Design. Media and Design with integrity in mind. K&B Improvement. No job too big or too small. Heaven knows we do it all. From carpet cleaning to house turnover, deep scrubbing and more. Carpet restoration, we give you what you ask for. Reliable, reasonable, prices you can't beat. Let us serve you in all your cleaning needs, for we are dependable and neat. Call 301 379 5939 Kevin Best www.k and b com. All right, you guys, we're back. It is the RS3 show. Thank you so much for tuning into today's broadcast. Today's broadcast, as you heard in the introduction. Um, we are going to be uh, having a good Real Talk with Red discussion on today. And we're going to be talking about um, um, not letting others discredit who you are. Not letting others discredit who you are. Not letting others, uh, you know, change your way of thinking. And we're going to, you know, we're going to have a little one-on-one talk because... 
it, it, it really is getting out of hand, and, um, and others, you know, we, we, folks, we, people like myself, and if you are, um, you know, someone, um, who do a lot, and you know, if you are someone who has done a lot, you know that a lot of folks can think that you can't do what you set out to do, or think you can't. Um, think you cannot let me get the right verbiage think you cannot um, uh, do the task that you are set out to do or you know you have people may have ideas and your opinion may not be for them but hey don't let don't don't let others discredit who you are and don't let others think that your opinion don't count or whatever you know I'll, I'll talk to you all about that in the real talk with red discussion and on today um during the um during this little chit chat session hey everything you know just just talking just talk we just talking now we're just talking now and so what has been going on you guys what has been going on i hope you all have been well i've been doing well everything with me has been going on pretty good pretty well and um um I, I I just thank God for you all. And so, like I was saying, y'all, this past week, this past week, um, has been, has been, um, really not challenging for me, but, you know, a lot has been going on to where, um, um, a lot has been going on to where I had to be away from radio. And so I had to implement other things to to still give y'all a great show. And I was like, you know what? A lot of folks miss the um, return from my break, and also a lot of folks has been um, um, yeah, I lost my train of thought. But um, yeah, a lot of folks ha- hadn't been listening to the. Uh, well, they did not. They missed the uh, return, and so I was like, okay, you know what? I'll just let, um, I'll just let the you know opening of the the mid season you know repeat. And so I, I hate to do that. I hated to do that on the week that I returned, but that show was an hour. And 30 minutes and I had to give it to you all and so I, I let y'all um, hear it again but you guys again I'm sorry I had a lot of stuff to do um, y'all know I don't drive some of y'all don't if you do not know that I don't drive there it is I don't drive and so Thursday I could I had to you know really and do what I had to do in my personal life at church at home and I, there was no way I had to get on here to do live broadcast. It was no way. And so I, after I got through, finished doing what I was doing, you guys, it was 5 o'clock. And I had not did no promos. I had not did anything. And so I was like, you know what? I, I couldn't. And so I had to give word. Okay, just repeat Thursday's broad, repeat Tuesday's broadcast for Thursday. And I'll make it up to them and, you know, speak to them on Excuse me, I had to drink some tea. Speak to you, you all, on the following um, Tuesday about what's went on and what's t- taking place. We, you know, got service back together and you know got things together, prepared for Sunday. And so, I, y- y'all, my home life come first. My, my biz, my, my. Until radio produces ducats for me. Which y'all can help and y'all can sponsor the RH3 show. Go to the RH3 show.com and click on the sponsorship tab. And until then, you know, hey, I hate to say this because this is a dream and this is something that I've always wanted to do. And I have the opportunity to do that. And so, but I really also thank my personal life for helping me get to where I am here. And so, you know, my personal life is funding for you all. And so, I, I, you know, I when that calls, I have to jump on it, you guys. And I hate to say that because you all have stuck with me until, you know, up until, you know, for nine years. Y'all stuck with me for nine years, and I thank y'all for that. And so that's my little, you know, rant or reasons why I wasn't here 
on uh, Thursday, Friday, again, busy, Saturday, again, busy, um, a lot, y'all, I'm sorry, I'm a busy guy, and so I've been doing a lot and putting some things on the back burner for, you know, for myself, and, and, and it, you know, and, and while I say that, it is okay, it is okay, and it is, it's okay. And so, thank y'all um, for joining me for that pre-show um, today. I did a um, I did a session with you all on um, uh, my vision board pre-prep. And so, thank y'all so much for joining me on that. Those who joined me on the Facebook page, um, y'all saw my vision board um, takedown. And we're going to... Um, do another session sometime next week on vision board prep and vision board um you know rebuilding for the new year and so i've had this vision board up for the longest and i thank y'all for um joining me with that and i had to reevaluate and rechange and speaking of reevaluation i put on my personal page um i put on my personal page earlier today that you know, me and God were, you know, had a reevaluation session on um, on earlier today, and you know, God was telling me, y'all, that Red, you're gonna have to, you know, do better with taking care of yourself. And I told y'all on, told y'all about this on, um, I told y'all about this on Tuesday, that you know, I'm gonna have to do better with taking care of myself, not only health wise, but um, you know, personal side as well, business. I'm gonna have to start doing a lot, you know, for those who do for me, I'm gonna have to do for them as well as do for myself because there are a lot of folks in my life. You know what? I'm going into the session of the Real Talk of the Red. How about while I'm going, I'm gonna go ahead and in intro, you know what? Insert. <laughs> insert the real talk with the red intro right here y'all insert the intro right here we're going ahead and roll with it especially what i just told you that's to how i mom. felt if that's how i so you felt say, if i wanted to say that i would have wrote it i well, you said that. i said what i said that's you don't like it, it you don't like it. it's the real talk with the red segment right here on the arch three show and yes, as I said, as I, I said what I said, because I said what I said, it is a real talk with red discussion. And that's where I give you all my honest, my unscripted opinion on real life topics. We also have grown folks discussion. And so thank y'all so much for <laughs> y'all. It is a live show. It is a live show. And so when I feel like I'm rolling with it, I might as well continue to roll with it. But like I told y'all on last week. You're going to have to start taking care of red. You're going to have to start taking care of yourself. And so with God, you know, with me talking today and thinking of what I want to talk to you all about, God was telling me in a in a meditation session and, you know, while I was reevaluating myself, you want to have to start taking better care of yourself and, you know, health wise as well as spiritually. That's first and foremost. Your spiritual aspect with me and you is going to have to get better. And I'm being real with you all. It's going to have to get better. And, you know, and, you know, as well as you taking care of others, it's going to have to get better because y'all don't know what. And, and, and let me let me give another disclaimer. What I'm about to say, it does not go as being um, being. Um, ungrateful or taking it as I'm complaining or rant for what I do for folks because those that I do for now and even some especially family I do it because it's in my heart and I'm doing it because they do for me and that's some but y'all particular people that either is watching this video because I'm on I'm doing it on YouTube as well those of you that's watching this video and those of you that are um that are listening to me on radio please know that y'all know y'all know those genuine people y'all know okay red what red is doing for me uh, uh, we got it locked 
And some people that I do for, um, some people that I do for don't really appreciate it. And so I'm getting a little, you know, a little emotional and teary eyed right now because it is very sad because you would think that in, 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 even in my case, the ones that you think that will appreciate what you do don't don't and and I'm the type of person that if I'm doing it, doing for you please know that I think very highly and I have a very high level of respect for you that's me 100 1,000, 1 million percent true. Because if I'm doing something for you, if I'm if I'm even around you in your presence, I'm comfortable with you. And so if I'm doing for you here, I'm doing for you there, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing that, and you do not acknowledge it, or you, you know, you give me your tail to kiss, or in in the in the return to where I need help. You don't give it or, you know, when it's even if I'm not helping, you know, you don't, you know, evaluate or not evaluate. <laughs> you don't uh, appreciate my thoughts and my I'm, You know what? As I saw a meme the first part of this year that said, when I start getting when you feel like you start getting uh, pulled in people's shenanigans or pulled in people's, you know, um, mistakes or, or poor than people's um, dilemma or drama say to yourself not my circus not my monkeys because I'm not going to be I, I cannot worry about this and y- y'all you cannot worry about what you know how people feel about you and, and of course you can, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to happen it's going to happen just know that it's going to happen and know that um you know the feelings is going to be there and I'm the type that look if y'all see me cry it's either because not of of sad not of you know defeat let me say that but it's either because of anger or because of you know I would say you know, a, a real genuine love and, a, and 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 just now, whenever I mention, or if you see me, you know, saying, or if you hear me say that, you know, um, you know, I don't know why people do this or whatever and whatever. It's not out of defeat, and it's not out of that I'm worrying about. It's just because I put all my heart and love and this and that into helping them, and you know, hey, they don't get it they don't get it and and i heard one of my giants in the faith pastor mitchell um pastor jamila excuse me say um we cannot continue to to make let people or we cannot continue to force people to get what you're trying to say we cannot continue to you know if they can't get the picture they're not going to get the picture we cannot force nobody we cannot make them you know do what's right if they're not going to do what's right they're just not and we cannot force them and so that's where my fault is I try to force people to to um, do what's right I try to force people to um, see the picture of stuff and I cannot do that I'm going to continue on radio YouTube family know that I love you for real that is the end of this Real Talk with Red discussion on YouTube Radio, I'll continue in just a moment. Just hold on. Radio, I mean, YouTube, know that I love you for real. And always remember to live every day, laugh every moment, and love beyond words. I'll see y'all on the next video. All right? Peace. But Radio Family, I'm back with you all. I'm back. But um, you, we cannot, we cannot. And that that's that's a big thought that I have, you know, that I, you know, I, I try to force people. And so, with all of that, getting back to 
not letting folks um, uh, discredit who you are. There's times in my life to where I, you know, whether it be on jobs or whether it be, you know, people asking and seeking advice or whether it, you know, whatever. Look, you ask me, I give you my advice. You don't go with my advice, which, hey, it's your, it's, it's all good because it's your decision to make. But then again, in the long run, hey, I'm just going to sit back and let stuff unfold because I'm not being arrogant. I'm just being humble and saying, I know what I'm talking about. And so sooner or later, it all going to unfold and look is what I told you. And that has been happening with me, you know, lately, whether it be in my personal life, whether it be at church, whatever. I mean, it is what it is. It's just it is it, a lot has been, you know. And, and again, this is discredit. Well, I'm not talking about, you know, I'm not being disgruntled or whatever. I love what I do, whether I, anything that I put my hands to or anything that I do, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it with whatever. And so, hey, if I'm with my friends, hey, I just, you know, if you ask for my advice, I'll give it to you. Keep it moving. If you don't take it, whatever. I may be wrong sometimes. I may not be wrong. But don't just don't make me feel like that, you know, I'm in the wrong because I gave you my opinion or, you know, you look down on me because I am not, you know, I don't have this, this, this level of expertise or whatever. I know what I'm talking about. And so that look, the whole month of January, y'all, has been it's been either not my circus and not my monkey type thing, or I know what I'm talking about. Shut your mouth red and let stuff unfold. And so that's what you all gonna have to do when it comes to people trying to discredit who you are. Say what you gotta say and keep it moving. Say what you have to say. And keep it moving. Say what you got to say. And keep it moving. If you feel that what's right. What you're saying is what's right. Okay hey. Give your opinion. And let them make their own. Because that's their decision. That's their problem. That's their situation. They ask you for your opinion. Or you giving advice. Okay say. You know. I feel that this shouldn't be happening. Oh no 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 no. What's going on is right. You know. Or. Uh, you know. What I have is fine. It's, everything is okay. Then sooner or later, it falls it, it falls on to what you said initially, and so that's that. And I'm and again, I'm not I'm I'm in no way, shape, or form of taking my discussion on today and pointing it to anybody else. It's just it's just talk. It's just encouragement. What I'm giving to my listeners, and so if the shoe fits, wear it. And this here is a size nine and a half shoe. If you can wear a size nine and a half shoe, wear it. (laughs) Boom, shakalaka, boom. (laughs) Y'all, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just full. I'm full with talking to you all. I'm full, I'm full, I'm full, I'm full. And I thank God for being full and I and and all I'm doing is just hey sit back relaxing and relieving my mind and I'm just you know enjoying myself and making decisions on what the rest of 2019 is going to be and that's what I'm going to do and so um I'm going to take a break thank y'all for joining me for this chit chat as well as the real talk with red discussion i'm gonna take a small break and coming up next is the inside scoop with red segment and this is where i give you my honest my unscripted opinion on world and entertainment and news and nina also got the gospel news with her (laughs) the gospel news with nina taylor all coming up next here on the rs3 show i'll be back in a moment The Inside Scoop with Red and the Gospel News with Nina is coming up next on the RH3 Show. If you're not tuning in to the RH3 Show Weekly, here's what you've missed. Um, Kevin Hart thoughts he said he's a real damaged individual. And R. Kelly is. He's really damaged. I have a lot of comments of but um he he really is he has a lot he is really damaged. And I may shock a lot of people. 
when I say this, and like I said in the promo, I may ruffle some feathers, but I'm jail is not gonna fix R. Kelly. Yes, he needs to be incarcerated, but he needs psychiatric help. As I say at the end of each broadcast, know that I love you for real. And always remember to live every day, laugh every moment, and love beyond words. Join the Arch 3 Show family. For more about me or the broadcast, you can visit my website at thearch3show.com. Thursday is one of our best days where we give you the RS3 Show Facebook live broadcast pre-show and also our scheduled live on-air broadcast every Tuesday and Thursday, which is from 6 to 7 p.m. This Thursday is like no other. Join us for another dose of the Inside Scoop with Red Gospel News with Nina Taylor and the Real Talk with Red discussion where I give you my honest, my unscripted opinion, and it's all coming from a Christian male perspective. The RH3 Show, Thursday from 6p to 7p Eastern. For more about the broadcast, please visit the RH3Show.com. Are you looking for an experienced and passionate video production company that values your time and resources? Then look no further. 1301 Productions specializes in creative promotional concepts that promote your product, brand, or service. Our main goal is that we can help you reach your existing clients as well as potential clients successfully. Call today to set up your free estimate. 1301 Productions, creative concepts for creative clients. For more information about 1301 Productions, give them a call at 424-835-1301. Okay. Want the latest news regarding the TV, movies, sports, politics, and music industry? It is time for the Inside Scoop with Red right here on the RH3 show. Taylor, and this is your Gospel News. One of Gospel Music's rising stars, his name is Isaiah Templeton, born in Massachusetts, but spent most of his life in Dayton, Ohio, where he graduated from Wright State University. Under the tutelage of Pastor Smokey Norfolk, Isaiah recorded his first album in 2016. You may have also seen Isaiah singing background for some of Gospel Music's leading artists, including Pastor Smokey Norfolk, Jonathan Nelson, and Travis Green. Now a resident of Charlotte, North Carolina, Isaiah is serving as worship leader at the Have Life Church. Inspired by the singing of the late Reverend Donald Vales and Thomas Whitfield, Byron Cage began singing gospel music as a teenager. He attended Morehouse College in Atlanta, where he was a member of the Morehouse College Glee Club. He also served as music director for Greater Grace Temple in Detroit, Michigan from 1995 through 1998. Purpose and Full Gospel Baptist Fellowship Mass Choir. While signed to Atlanta International, Byron Cage and Purpose released two live recordings, Dwell Among Us in 1995, which featured Dwell Among Us, The Blood and The Glory Song, and Transparent in Your Presence in 1996, featuring Forever I'll Worship, He's There, and God's Word. On both albums, Cage served as co-producer. Cage also made a guest appearance with the Full Gospel Baptist Fellowship Church Choir and Bishop Paul S. Morton. Byron Cage recorded a live CD entitled The Proclamation at the legendary Apollo Theater in New York City on April 26, 2007. He had guest appearances from Kelly Price, Kim Burrell, and Dave Hollister. In 2009, the project Faithful to Believe, it was produced by Israel
Joe Holton and Aaron Lindsay. Byron Cage for this album took home the stellar for Male Vocalist of the Year. Kelante Gavin, an energetic contemporary gospel vocalist from Ridgeville, South Carolina, unwittingly launched his career with performances of the Reverend Paul Jones song, I Won't Complain. Recorded in his high school cafeteria in 2014 and uploaded to YouTube, the interpretation caught the attention of Atlanta-based pastor and music executive Marcus Boone. Kalante Gavin's debut single, Higher, was released in November of that same year. The song was written by his mother, Priscilla Smalls, and produced by Grammy Award winner Myron Butler. Around that time, Gavin made his first national televised appearance on BET's Joyful Noise, and in 2018, he returned with his full-length CD, The Higher Experience. Singing in her grandfather's church since she was old enough to hold a microphone, Lexi has a passion for being on stage that began to blossom during her undergraduate study years at Bowling Green State University, majoring in interpersonal communications and having a minor in theater. Upon graduation, Lexi never realized that her life was called by God to be in the forefront. For a small stint, Lexi was a background vocalist for singer Gerald Levert, Fred Hammond, and Vanessa Bell Armstrong, to name a few, before realizing her own destiny. Lexi met and married producer Michael Allen, who helped her develop her writing and vocal ability to create her own sound. However, the marriage was soon ended by Michael's untimely death. Having their son, Lexi was without her husband, without focus, and without direction, but she wasn't without God. God began to quickly step in and prove himself to Lexi by putting her face on the Word Network. Two years later, the face of this broken widow had thrust before 40 million households right here in the United States, seen by 38 million viewers in over 200 countries around the world as well. And Lexi began to blossom into a name that would be easily recognized. Recently, Lexi has remarried to television producer Jason Prater. And here's your Billboard Top 10 songs for this week. Number 10, Charles Jenkins with Can't Turn Back. Number 9, Fred Jerkins featuring Last Call with Victory. Number 8, Kalante Gavin, No Ordinary Worship. Number 7, Miranda Curtis, Nobody Like You, Lord. Number 6, Fresh Start Worship with Mention. Number 5, Jacqueline Carr, It's Yours. Number 4, Tasha Cobb Leonard with I'm Getting Ready. Number 3, Jason Nelson, Forever. Number 2, Brian Courtney Wilson with A Great Work. And number 1, Once Again for for 10 weeks, the Cardi Cortez with Oh How I Love You. Well, that's your Billboard Top 10 songs and your gospel news. I'm Nina Taylor. Let's get back to more great gospel music on this great station. Thank you so much, Nina, for your portion of the uh, inside scoop of the red and thank you for the gospel news and speaking of gospel news um uh Medea Medea's um let me see M A D E A Medea's <laughs> farewell tour is going on now they are actually in phoenix one today and um um y'all if y'all are in the area please i'm trying to um um uh get um i'm trying to get uh david and tamla um on the show so if you're in an area where um the play is going on and then a movie is coming on um um, in September, uh, not September, in March, I believe, and it is Medea's family funeral or something to that effect. Um, if you can, please go, please go. And so this week they are at, um, um, where are they? Tomorrow they're, well, this whole week they are in, they're in, they're in Eric Phoenix, Arizona on today. And they will be in California on uh, the rest of the week up until the 26th. And so, when will they be on the West Coast? I mean, on the East Coast. Starting in February, they'll be in Miami, going on to South Carolina, following up. When will they be in, uh, if you're in the Baltimore area, February 22nd, Friday, 8 p.m. 
They'll be at the Royal Farms Arena. Y'all, Royal Farms Chicken? Boy, when I tell y'all, mm, I want to go to the one in February the 23rd. Um, probably not that one because um, um, things are going on. But Feb- um, March the 5th, no, February 23rd, they'll be in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, at the Lawrence Joel Veterans Memorial. And then at that's at 4 then at 8 p.m. they'll be at you know at the same place. So it's two shows a night, looks like. Two shows, no, two shows at night that February 23rd. No, I'm lying. Lord forgive me. At 8 p.m. Yeah, February 23rd, Saturday. Um, at 4 p.m. and then at 8. And then when they will be back in North Carolina, they will be back um uh, in North Carolina around, let's see here. Uh, Y'all, I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm looking. They'll be at the National Harbor in April. Go to Ticketmaster.com forward slash Tyler dash Perry dash tickets. And or just search um, Medea's Farewell Tour. Tyler Perry's Medea's Farewell Fair Farewell Play Tour. They'll be back in North Carolina at the end of April in Durham. And I think that's it. I think that's it for North Carolina. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. But anyway, just go search it. Go check it out. Go to, um, if you want any social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Use the hashtag David and Tamla on RH3 and then at them. And then at them and say, look, we want to get y'all on the RH3 show. Talk about love. Talk about marriage. Talk about, you know, keeping the marriage and talk about the play and talk about the, the, well, I think their tour is over. Um, um, I forgot the name of that, but y'all, that CD is also bad as well um that's it for tyler perry and their news on um them wendy joan williams hunter i know we spoke on her on last tuesday and then y'all heard it again on thursday but she was supposed to come back this week she she's not and there is y'all it's really sad and it gets to a point of being emotional that she ha- is away and that she's been you know met dealing with medical complications and there is no end in sight to when she's going to be back on her show none none as of yet she might be back but there's no end in sight my guess she'll be back close to the mid end of february first part of march that's what i'm thinking but y'all it's really sad, and and you know if y'all go to her Instagram page, y'all will get a full, um, a full um, letter from her family and a full letter from um, Detmar Mercury, um, who is her, um, who is her production company, and um, um, I'll read both of them. It's a note from her family first. It reads, as Wendy Williams Hunter previously shared, she fractured her shoulder and has been on the mend. Over the past few days, Wendy has experienced complications regarding her Graves' disease that will require treatment. Wendy will be under strict supervision of her physicians and as a part of her care, there will be significant time spent in the hospital despite her strong desire to return. She is taking a necessary extended break from her show to focus on her personal and physical well-being. Wendy thanks everyone in advance for their well wishes and for respecting her and the Hunter's family's private privacy during this time. A statement from Demma Mercury, which is her production, um, not production, her distributor, I believe. Over For over 10 years, Wendy has been a vital part of De- Demar Mercury family. We will wholeheartedly support Wendy in this decision to take time she needs, and we will welcome her back with open arms the moment she is ready. The Wendy Williams Show will repeat episodes the week of January the 21st, which was yesterday, and will produce original episodes with a variety of hosts starting the week of January the 28th. So next week, um, it's, it's back to new shows and... Um, 
another hashtag y'all can use red on wendy hashtag red on wendy and i would love to be one of the uh hot talk panel um um personnels on on wendy and so um prayers go out to wendy in the, and y'all know that i've been a big fan of follower of her before radio before television when she was on radio and you know um it is I, I love wendy i love wendy and so my prayers go out to her my prayers go out to kevin her husband kevin jr her son and i know it is very hard on him being away in college worrying about his mother it's it's, it's very sad and i'm not getting into he say he say she say or whatever all i'm doing is praying for wendy all I'm doing is praying for her, her husband, her son, and the whole family, the marriage, it all. Because the speculations is, you know, going rampant. And, you know, it, it, it's just been a lot of talk. And so, yeah, that's that. And that's, well, is that all I have? That's all I have. I'll be back with more of the RC Show. Coming up next is the Ask Red Letter segment. Be back in a moment, y'all. Does your ministry, business, or organization need a new brand? Or maybe you're looking for a graphic artist to give your letterheads, publications, or your upcoming event flyer a little more pop and eye appeal? Then Integrity Media and Design is your one-stop shop. They offer many services that will suit your needs. Services such as media production and editing, graphic design, business identity, and much more. That's Integrity Media and Design. More information is available at integritymedia.weebly.com or on Facebook, Integrity Media and Design, or you can also find them on Twitter at OfficialIMD7. Integrity Media and Design. Media and Design with Integrity in Mind. Got a problem, need my help, got a question that you need me to answer, hit me up at askrh3 at gmail.com. Which means do I live and we ain't? Look to the RS3 show every Tuesday and Thursday to give you what you need to get through the beginning of the week and to push you to finish off the week strong. This week we have a new dosage of the Real Talk with Red discussion and the Ask Red Letter segment. I'm also on YouTube, y'all, so don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash I represent. Know that I love you for real. The RH3 show every Tuesday and Thursday from 6p to 7p Eastern. For more about the broadcast, please visit the RH3show.com. Did you catch this flashback of the Arch 3 show? But, um, you know, a virtual woman respects her husband and also respects herself. Um, she does good. She does him good all the days of her life and she's trustworthy and they help me. So, you know, marriage is a, um, you know, a great attribute and being, you know, real down to the T 100% single unique and whole is another great attribute of a virtuous woman number three some women does some women do not carry this this um, attribute because you know even the women that do that do fits in this name or this title doesn't deserve it and I may get rocks thrown at me for saying that but who cares my name is on the marquee the RH3 show not the audience of the RH3 show this is my segment this is my hour this is my show that I birth January when was it January the 8th 2010 but it is you know my opinion but you know like I said some women does not have a mothering gene in her body and (laughs) I know a few ladies out here I know a few ladies that um have children and they do not deserve them children you know God may bless them with it but you know I'm not God and I can't you know I that 
I'm I'm just being real, y'all. You can come on, come on. Let's just be real. You you know God gives us a blessing, and she may they he may have gifted them with their children, and God does not make mistakes on who he blesses, you know, and who he he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing, but you know people can take advantage of that gift. People can take advantage of that gift. And like I said, I know a few women out here that has children and they really don't deserve them. The reason being is how they treat them and how, you know, they're being raised. But uh, a virtuous woman, uh, a, a, a attribute of a virtuous woman is someone who's mothering. And, and, and again, if you do not, if you can't bear children, you know, not uh, you. I have to learn that it, it you do not have to. I'm getting a little emotional here right now, but you're not, you don't have to be a dad to be a father or a father to be a dad. You feel me? Because the reason why I'm saying this is because y'all, and I'll talk about, I ain't even gonna say it. I'll mention it on Father's Day whenever I'm in here bawling my eyes out, y'all, because Father's Day, you just don't know, it is a special, special time for me. And I'll say this and then I'll keep it moving because we're talking about the mothers here. We're not talking about Father's Day. But I'm just talking, you know, I'm, 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 I'm leading up to what I'm saying about mothers. And you do not have to be a biological mother to be someone's mother. But y'all, my godson, he'll be 16 next week. Next Wednesday, actually. And um, he, on Father's Day last year, he told me Happy Father's Day. And... I don't have any children. My only children is him, his god brother, and his god sister. Y'all, I lost it. You hear me? I lost it because just that same day, I, well, I ain't even gonna go to it. But um, you don't have to have your own children to be someone's mother or a mother figure. You, I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. <laughs> As I say at the end of each broadcast, know that I love you for real. And always remember to live every day, laugh every moment, and love beyond words. Join the Arch 3 Show family. For more about me or the broadcast, you can visit my website at thearch3show.com. Well, I just told you that's how I mom. felt. If that's how I so felt. Say, if I wanted to say that, I would have wrote it. I well, you said, implied that. I said what I said. That's you don't like it, it. You don't like it. Need an advice? Got a question for me? Or you just need some help solving a problem? It is the Ask Red Letter segment right here on the Arch 3 Show. All right, you guys, it is the Ask Red Letter segment. And as I say at the end of, at the beginning of each, um, um, segment, that it is my honest, my unscripted opinion. And it's all coming from a Christian male perspective. We got just a few minutes left of the broadcast, and I'm just go ahead and read this letter. And I'm gonna close it out, all right? And most of my, um, um, letters come from either you guys who send it to me via email at ask rh3 at gmail.com or it comes from um you know fellowship groups that i'm part of and so this one here is like no other it came from sorry i'm drinking still drinking the last drop of my tea hold on (laughs) is that that is that is that type of show but um this one that i'm speaking on came from a group that i am a part of and so um um, um, let's go ahead and read the letter. It reads, my ex-boyfriend and I were together for 10 years. When I was uh, five months pregnant, he cheated and left for me for a younger girl. He is an R- She is an RN making money. He has always had money issues. When I read that, I missed it. I uh, missed that part. Well, in November, he had to leave his apartment because his roommates moved out and he couldn't afford the place on his own. He then moved in with the new girlfriend she's 23 he is 31 um hold on i had to um 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 magnify this because i cannot 
read this. Okay, um, uh, she's 23, he's 31. She knew about me, but loves him a lot. He did emotionally cheat on her uh, three months in their relationship. Well, in November, Thanksgiving weekend, when I went into labor, he was in San Francisco on vacation with his girlfriend. I decided to put my differences aside and let him be present during the birth. He never showed up or called to see what was going on. Two days later, he texted me to tell he was sorry that and sad that he wasn't there for me. Our baby was stillborn. I lost him. When I needed my ex to be there, he wasn't. Since there, uh, since then, every other day, he texts me, asks me how I'm doing. Why? Why? When he uh, wasn't there. Are his apologies sincere? Is his guilt eating him up? Will he try to come back to me? I just want to be prepared. I just want to prepare myself. Will he continue to text me? I am lost and sad. And lady, he feels my response is, and I and I have pre-read this or whatever. He does feel sad, and it is and it is quite all right for him to feel that way because, you know, no matter how he done you, he lost the child as well, and so he has feeling for you and for his child. And I don't think that you know he wants you back. I just think that he's sad and upset that he couldn't be there with you. While you were dealing with this loss. And he couldn't be there. You know. For the birth of his child. And we never know. We never know. And so. He should have been there from the beginning. Whether he would have known the outcome or not. This was his child. You went in early. You know. Whatever. And so. You know. These feelings. That he has for you. Aren't romantical. And put up quotes. Because I say a made up word. Uh, feelings. Um, or e- e- eros, and so that's another, you know, form of of love or whatever. But you know, I feel that he has the storge type of feelings or a familiar type of feelings to where, okay, we have a a mutual. What's the word I'm thinking of? A common ground here, which is our child, and so. You know, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. You are in your feelings too, and you want it. This would, this could have been a, your love child, I would think. And you, you are in your feelings as well. And so, don't get caught up in him or wanting him back after he left. This child was a child that you made with him. And you still loved him. This was something that you wanted to keep, to keep him. And this is something this child was that connection between you and him and now you don't have it now you feel bad now he feels bad and then it's it's just that it's just that sorry i had to give it to you like that but it's just that um and that's my honest my unscripted opinion on this letter and it's all you know just pray about it and and of course seek counseling now since you did your baby is stillborn seek counseling that's it for the RH3 show on today. Know that I love you for real. Y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning into today's broadcast. If you've missed it, if you've missed the majority of the show, go to the RH3 show.com and click on the podcast and you can uh, get it on the podcast platforms or you can search it on it yourself. The RH3 show on Spotify. Google Play Music, Apple iTunes, Radio Public, um, Anchor.fm, YouTube, uh, Spreaker. It's all everywhere. Just search The RC Show. And Google Play Music, if I didn't mention that. Just search The RC Show. As I said, at the end of each video, each uh, broadcast, anything that I do, always know that I love you for real and always remember to live every day. Laugh every moment and love yourself first well no love god first love yourself second and love any other body else beyond words again i love you for real and i'll see you all on thursday peace From the old man into the new man, we made a new creature and it's up, up, on. Cause we've been given a new life, we're living into Christ and our sins are gone, go, go. Thank God that he heed the need to make us free indeed, now the world was what, what, what. So now we're giving him his praise, I think it would take dead, but I'm not there for trust, trust, trust. And the redeemed say so, remade it as him and to a few God's way so. We can then call and we will not wait so, the non-believers can look at our lives and take notes. 
deal Cause with the word redeemed, yo Waking up loud like a cappuccino I know what he's done for me So I can get up and praise him To a world redeemed, yo yeah. I know I gotta praise him now Praise him now They call me to switch Go ahead Cause I know I gotta give it up Switch my old status, that's from sin to the saint. As winners, we can't live by the picture they paint. Because they know they own the inner retain. So we must live out our lives with a sense of restraint. Which means, do I live and we ain't? But you're controlled by the flesh, we're depicted as quaint. And pray without a quitter's complaint. And being able to turn down your dinner at eight. Because the price that he paid for me Gave to me my freedom So I'm not a slave for me Christ made a way for me Grace we didn't pay for me Your way back to God Through the life that he gave for me huh. It made me gave with a switch Our lives were in darkness Then he came with a switch So we don't walk like we used to Talk like we used to Call us for honor And he'll do it for you too Yeah, I know I gotta praise him now Praise him cause he called me to switch Go ahead Cause I know I gotta give it up If anybody wanna do the things of